Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Felicity here. I hope that everyone is having a nice week. And uh, in this video, I'm going to do a pick a card reading and to see how you can balance your feminine energy and masculine energy. It's very important for us to balance feminine energy and masculine energy because if as a female, if you have overly active masculine energy you will not only reject the help of men you will compete with them you will compete with men if you have overly active mas masculine energy and uh, for male if you are men and uh, if you have overly active um, uh, under active feminine energy and you will not be able to comfort yourself in the middle of crisis and uh, so uh, now let's look at how you can balance your masculine and feminine energy and which part of the energy you need to heal from okay and before we got started i would like to uh, tell you that okay last pick a card reading last pick a card reading and do you remember i for power number one for power number one, last pick a card reading for power number one, we have these three cards. And I know that some of you are um, learning tarot, okay? And I found out the, the new way of interpretation, especially for this card. Suddenly the universe sent me something and then I have a new interpretation to add. Um, so if you would like to know about this information, uh, you can just uh, go to the end. Toward the end of this video, I will explain it in detail, all right? Okay, so for this reading, um, I will, okay, I will use this one. Sola Busca Tarot to read about your masculine energy and then for feminine energy I will use this deck Tarot of Sacred Feminine alright so let's see maybe I need something for you to pick from alright um, let me see Okay. Maybe you pick a perfume bottle, all right? This one. Power number one, this one. Okay, this perfume bottle. It's better not to put it next to the to the candle. Okay, this is power number one. And uh, power number two, this perfume, all right, power number two. And then the third pile, third bottle, this one. Okay, I hope that you can see clearly this number three group number three okay now let's get started for pile number one let's sincerely ask the guidance from the universe for those who have you who have chosen pile number one let's look at the masculine energy of those of you who have chosen pile number one and which part of their masculine energy they need to heal from and also we need to look at the feminine energy okay let's see Okay, I have three cards here. Card number one. Card 
cut number two. And cut number three. This is uh, this shows your masculine side, okay? Masculine energy. Now I will combine and look at the feminine energy as well. Just give me a minute. Okay. Now I'll look at the feminine energy of the good one. Feminine energy of good one. Which part of the feminine energy they need to heal from? Okay, I have the feminine energy here. Okay, I will show the card to you later. But now I, I need to look at the card right now for the feminine energy. Okay, um, let's see. The masculine energy, I feel like, okay, some of you are carrying a lot of burden, especially when it comes to the mind. You know, um, the ma your masculine side, okay, is supposed to voice out something, but somehow you you have a lot of thoughts. Maybe you have some opinions that you would like to tell others, but then you keep it inside of you. And when you are about to tell others, you just do not have this courage. Okay, so uh, your masculine side needs a little bit of a push in the in the way you communicate, and. So whenever you want to voice out your opinions, first you cannot think about how others view you after you are voicing out your opinion. That means that if you have the, the, the things that you would like to say, um, you need to find a way to express those emotions and feelings or, or your thoughts and what is on your mind. Right now, what I'm seeing is that uh, you are carrying a lot of your thoughts and keep keep those things uh, opinions within you and you're not able to voice it out and the card also asks you to move forward to go outside to socialize and this may help you to open up your communication skills and maybe you have the communication skill it's just that you are keeping it inside because of you are worried about how others view about you, you so you, you keep it inside. So the masculine energy is about having a strong voice, just like the writers. If you are the writer, you need to have your own voice. You know, every writer has their own unique voice. So find your unique voice to express yourself, express your mind, especially. And so your masculine energy needs to to find a way to express your thinking and not to just carry the burden within yourself and also you can share your opinions with others and yes you would like to take care of it by yourself all right you would like to take care of it by yourself but sometimes just telling others how you feel or telling others what you think uh, doesn't mean that you are, you are asking others for help. Um, sometimes when you express your ideas and your thoughts and others may be able to express their ideas, opinions, so that it expands your opinions, your ex it expands your horizon, it expands how you view about the world. All right? So do not be afraid of expressing your ideas. And you you want to win, you want to uh, like uh, build up an image that you you are very uh, successful. Okay, uh, that's why even when there's something that uh, burdens you, you just press it inside because you want to build up an image that you are very successful and you can handle everything by yourself. 
And sometimes, you know what? Um, if you have something within you and you have some doubts, you can actually tell tell others about that, so that you have an easier way to manifest. Because you know, some people are very good at manifesting. If you don't uh, tell them about your worries, others may not be able to help you. It's not like you know. Sometimes you do not need to ask for help. Some people are just in their nature, within their nature, they 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 are they are very helpful. They do not feel that okay, you are asking for help. They do not view you as someone who is weak. It it's just that they have some kind of experience to share with you. You can look at it like this. It's about sharing. Opinions, sharing experience, that's all. So you need to go outside. Okay, if you are worried about your communication skills, you can practice it in front of mirror. Or you can practice it um, like, okay, like a, a role play. It's better that if you are very shy, you can practice it in front of mirror so that you will not be very nervous when it comes to expressing your ideas. You can also practice in front of some of your trustworthy friends. All right. So uh, do not suppress your masculine side. Your masculine side need to feel free to express the ideas and thoughts. Because always, you know, uh, the masculine side always provide solutions. So if you have a good solution, if you feel that okay, uh, others can do things this way, it help them. If you think that your ideas or thoughts are helping other people, you can express it so that us, others can get your help. All right. Okay. So you need to work on this side of your masculine energy, and when it comes to the feminine side of you. Here is the feminine side. Okay, your feminine side is asking you to let go, to set things free. Right now, maybe you know your feminine side. It's very, very uh, comfortable uh, having the uh, having the companion of others. You seek. You may seek companions of others. And maybe others seek the companions of you, all right? It can go both ways. And uh, so you feel like you are not free to do something. Maybe you are longing for a trip. Maybe you would like to travel. But then it feels like, okay, always someone in your family is needing you. So you are not very free to travel. Maybe some of you are expecting a child, a child. Maybe some of you are pregnant, and that's why there's a limitation of the movement here. It feels like you you cannot move freely. All right. Okay. So, uh. How can you combine the masculine side with the feminine side within you? It feels like your masculine side need to help your feminine side to express. The masculine side is about forward movement, and your feminine your feminine side wants you wants to move. Want to wants to move forward, and not be limited by others. Maybe in your family, maybe your friends need your help, and maybe you you would like to let go of a relationship. Maybe you would like to let go of a friendship. But somehow, the person, particular, there's a one person, maybe the the person in your family, particular, always need your help. Always need you to be there. You 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 cannot move. Like you would like to move, but then they hold you back. So 
your masculine energy needs to help your feminine energy to express the ideas that okay that's it I'm going to do something for myself I will come back later all right but now I need to take time for myself to have a trip to do something to have some kind of movement maybe I will come back maybe not but but that's all we need to do right so there's a cycle of life you would like to move to a new cycle here the cycle of life birth and then to the adulthood and to to the ending okay so this is cycle of life your feminine energy is longing for complete a cycle and start the new cycle but then the person here feels very sad that you are leaving you are doing something on your own that you are going travel on your own or this person is very very worried of course if you are expecting a child of course you can just wait for some time but if you are not expecting a child or if you do not have a lot of responsibility at home then it's a maybe it's time to travel you need to understand that your masculine energy will protect you once you you express your ideas your longings your hopes and dreams even though it feels like maybe once you express your idea someone will feel hurt but then it is inevitable because you need to end a cycle you need to complete a cycle and then begin a new cycle all right so honor your feminine energy you your feminine energy is ready to start a new cycle to explore your feminine energy worry about you hurting others but then your masculine energy can help you voice out what you want what you think it is best for you so do not worry you know you do not need to be responsible for all other things if you are family if you have children maybe you can ask your family members to take care of the children first so that you can do something for yourself or you can hire someone to take care of the children or maybe you can ask your friend to help you to take care of some kind of family responsibility first especially if your your friend also has children you can exchange like okay uh, this week this weekend I take care of your child and then next weekend you take care of mine then then you can solve you can schedule with your your best friend so that you can have some time on your own or you can have some time to spend with your partner but if you really want to do something on your own to explore the world on your own it is time to let go to or ask others to let go maybe it is painful for others at the beginning but it is inevitable okay so your own lesson here is to ask your masculine energy to train your masculine energy to voice out what you want to voice out what you think to to sometimes ask others to understand you so that your feminine energy can have time to have energy to explore the world to complete one cycle and then start a new cycle and yes your feminine energy knows that it is painful for others to let go but then it is inevitable if you are not moving then you are hurting your own feminine energy all right so i hope this reading is helpful to you and hopefully enjoy your week all right so let's look at group number two let me see let me put the card back okay for 
Group number two. Okay, is this bottle? I will put it here. Group number two. All right. First, I will look at the masculine energy first. Okay, let's ask the guidance from the universe. For those of you who have chosen group number two, group number two, to give guidance on how they can balance their feminine energy and masculine energy. This is for group number two. Okay, let's look at their masculine energy. Okay, you have four cards for this group. You have four cards. Let's see. Card number one, two, and three, and four. So this is your masculine energy. Now I will get the feminine energy ready okay for those of you who have chosen group number two let's look at their feminine energy how they can better use and balance the both feminine energy and masculine energy Okay, I have the card here. Okay, feminine energy. I will show you the card later. All right. So this is group number two. Let's see the more masculine energy. Okay, it's about the value. I feel like your, you know, your masculine energy is trying to protect your feminine energy. It's a very protective energy. And uh, I feel like, you know, your masculine energy is quite balanced. And here is, here you see this is the, the feminine energy here, and this one is the masculine energy, and this masculine energy it's trying to protect this because you know it's here and this masculine energy you know is is like willing to fight for something I think it's about the value okay what you value it's going to fight for it But then here, there's some kind of things over here. It's, it's like holding on to something and it's, it's, it's not moving forward. Okay, when it comes to the opinions of others, and because of the things that, let me see, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight of soul. Hmm. On 
this side actually it's very 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 balanced on this side but then you are it, it's like moving forward to fight for something it's about the thoughts that you need to fight for eh? something that you need to fight for okay maybe your masculine energy it's it's like here like this your masculine energy is actually willing to fight for you it's when it concerns about uh, financial attracting something and and when it comes to manifestation all right so it's all the the pentacles here is the the pentacle here and here is another pentacle and your feminine energy needs some kind of uh uh like a pampering your feminine energy actually lies like a uh, uh comfort and uh, beauty and enjoying something all right so this is your feminine energy over here your feminine energy lies to have comfort to have a very healthy appearance and your feminine energy likes to enjoy life and then your masculine energy is like okay you like to have this and this in your life right so the masculine energy sees that you need to have enjoyment beauty and comfort and and healthy look and then this masculine energy is thinking about the ways to clear out all the obstacle to clear, clear out something that is not moving all right so here's something that is not moving you need to clear it out but then sometimes it may offend others it may offend others will, they will feel offensive or others are not letting go of something maybe they feel like okay uh how how can you have all the manifestation how can you have all the the value set for you but then they do not know that your fight for your masculine energy fight for fight for something for to give to your feminine energy all right so others may not understand how it works others will see that okay you have all the things that you need in your life here over here this is the feminine energy just sitting on the throne and relaxing and then they do not understand that actually it is your masculine side that is fight for the resources in your life to fight for the finance to support your feminine energy so the, the people here are not letting go of some kind of idea about you they do not know okay how can you do this how can you achieve and how can you have all the the nice things in your life they have no idea and they do not know that actually is the masculine energy within yourself that help your feminine energy to achieve anything in her life or in his life so you need to let go of what other people think about your success i see that here is very successful there's a successful picture here all right so i think that this is the opinions of others here others do not understand how can you have all of these nice things in your life but then it's actually your masculine energy achieve those things to pass it to help your help your feminine energy to have a very comfortable life so the, the the people are not not letting go about something it is because maybe this kind of idea is very new to them they do not want, want to let go something okay here's your advice uh if others people are not willing to let go of some kind of concept of wealth or some kind of concept of man manifestation 
then do not fight with them because maybe you would like to change something. You would like to change how others view about your success. But then the universe is asking you it is not your role to change other people's opinions about you. So just let go. Not to not to fight with others about uh, luxury, about enjoying life, about having something that you deserve to have. Because they do not understand the concept about the balance of uh, working and the balance uh, the balance between working and enjoying life because you know some people just feel that okay uh, after working so hard how can you just spend it spend it and then enjoy life they 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 may not understand you they they feel that okay you are just enjoying life and not needing to do anything but actually it's your masculine energy to achieve something for you to help your feminine energy. So let go of the ideas of changing how others view you. You cannot change how others people view you. You cannot change the fact. But then you can you can just change yourself. You can change the concept. You do not need to make everyone understand you. If they do not understand you that's fine. They are not willing to let go of something, that's fine. They are not willing to let go of certain concept of life, of the balance between work and living, that's fine. And you do not need to fight because there's a, some kind of different value system. What you value does not mean that others will value the same thing like you do. All right. Okay, so now I will show you the feminine side. Actually, your feminine side is very, very beautiful. It's very beautiful. Okay. Your feminine side, maybe, okay, some of you are enjoying the family life or some of you would like to one day would like to have a family would like to have children some of you like carrying the family responsibility you may feel like it is your duty to have children to have uh, um, to have some to to have your uh, legacy I feel Okay, it feels like you are taught. When you were you were young, you are taught. Okay, you have this kind as a female. You have this kind this kind of responsibility. You need to do this and do this. You need to have. You need to uh, get married. You need to have children. So it is strong here on this card. It is this concept is passed down from generation to generation. In within your family so uh, maybe there's someone in your family feel you know there's a family member feels that you need to get married and then you need to have children and so because of their influence you are dreaming of having children here in the here you're dreaming about having children you think that nurturing others means having children but then it feels like you are very very wise you are very very wise and there's a also there's a also element in this in this card here you have a very sharp vision you really know what you want and uh, it feels like you may one day need a companion you need friendship and then before you find this ultimate companion of yourself you're fine on your own 
I feel like you're very strong. I mean strong, not in a very masculine way. Strong in the sense that your masculine can take care of your feminine side. That's why you're not rushing into anything. I feel like you're not rushing. Maybe other people are rushing, but then when it comes to having a family, having children, you are not rushing at all because you are very wise. You are your wise soul, you are old soul. You enjoy the companion of others and other people may enjoy the com companion and friendship of you because you have a very short vision. Oftentimes, the, you, the advice you give to others can help others to see their vision as well. There seems to be like you are very in touch with the moon. Maybe you have a very high intuition, very, very accurate intuition. So cherish this intuition. You have dream and hopes to fulfill before you would like to have children and settle down. So honor that. Do not, you know, do not feel pressured because other people are pushing you. Especially maybe there's a female, maybe mother, maybe there's a motherly figure in your family is pushing you. Okay, it is time. Hey, it is time. Your biological clock is ticking. Maybe there's a family member within your family circle that is pushing because, uh, you know, for them passing the, 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 the seed, passing, you know, having a legacy, having a child. In, in a family is very important to them. But then you would like to fulfill your vision. You would like to fulfill your dream. You would like to do everything before you, you settle down and have children. Because you understand very strongly that once you have family, once you have children, you will have a very, very strong family responsibility that you need to handle. Sometimes when you, you you have a family, you need to prioritize, right? You need have you need to have a, a priority in your life. So there's there's something there's something that you want to do first before you can put a lot of one hundred percent energy fully on a family and on this family responsibility. And that's why you feel like if you have dreams and 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 dreams to fulfill you need to fulfill it first before you can start a family because you you feel like you cannot handle everything at once you want to take a step by step approach to to fulfill your dream first and then have a family and then have children because you do everything with full force you do everything with the full force you you would like to give everything you would like to give 100% of your energy on something that you are doing. And so you, you do not want to split your energy and that's fine. Because this is how you do things and you need to honor that. Your masculine energy is definitely helping you to, to, to defend you, to protect you from all those opinions of others to from you know, your masculine energy is, is trying very, very hard. Your masculine energy is trying very hard to, you know, protect yourself from all other people's concept. The other people are not willing to let go of certain kind of concept. Okay, they, they push you to, to do something. But then your masculine energy is protecting you from all the people who voice out their opinion, do not let go of some kind of traditional concept. So you, you are very calm. I see that your feminine energy is very calm here. It's very confident. You know you need to do something for yourself before you can do something for others. Okay, so honor that. There's nothing wrong. Do not blame yourself, all right? I feel that you will one day achieve everything. You will, you will be able to have everything in your life, all right? So do not worry. Okay? Now, let's move on to group number three. Group number three. Just give me some time, all right? Group number three. Here 
is your bokto group number three. I will put the bokto here. And then let me shuffle the card first. Okay, so now let's ask the universe guidance. For those of you who have chosen group number three, let's look at the masculine energy. What needs to be balanced and what needs to heal? Group number three, let's see. Let's look at the masculine energy first for group number three. Here is your card. Okay, and now I will shuffle the feminine side of the card. Let's look at the feminine energy of those who have group number three, chosen group number three. I will show you the card later. Okay. This is uh, very, very clear. It's, it's like your masculine energy, okay, feels like in order to succeed, you need to have certain kind of competition with others. So your masculine energy is always like competition competition and more competition this you know because of your masculine energy view the world this way and your feminine energy follows i can see that your feminine energy follows this here is your card for your feminine energy it's about competition okay not letting go here is the competition competing with other female to fight for one male you know, in order to uh, to get one male, you you compete with other female. So your masculine energy is influencing your feminine side. Okay, so you really need to uh, maybe talk to your masculine side. How to change this kind of concept? You have this kind of concept that is very limiting. You know, you feel like, okay, all the successful people in the world, they are successful because they compete, they have the competition, they win, they are winning, they are winning. Winning means the opposite side of winning is losing and this and that. So here, this card is the advice card over here. The card asks you to have compassion and to cooperate. So for example, if you are uh, seeing others are needing help, you need to offer help. Your masculine side need to change from competition to helping others, to cooperate with others, to have certain kind of teamwork as well. All right. So change this. Whenever you feel like you need to compete in order to be successful, you need to change the idea that, okay, in order to be successful, I need to cooperate with others so that we have a better teamwork. Better teamwork means better productivity. P 
produce a lot of good things in our life and in others' life. Without the teamwork, everyone is a loser. All right. So teamwork is very important. Even though you are the boss in your company, even though you are the entrepreneur, okay, you still need to cooperate with business partner, cooperate with your clients, cooperate with your junior, cooperate with your workers, cooperate with others who are working for you in order to become successful, all right? So it's not all about compete, competition. Yeah, I am successful. Others are losing. It's not like that. So your masculine energy, once you change this kind of concept, your feminine energy will change as well. And you view the world in a complete different light. All right. So instead of trying to compete, try to think about cooperation, try to think about partnership, try to think about having compassion to others, try to help others, maybe give advice to others, maybe uh, to comfort others as well. When others are like, okay, not handling things well or having some kind of issues in their life, you can talk to them. Maybe ask them for permission to give advice. Before you give, per before you give advice, you can ask them. I have something to share with you. Do you want to listen? Okay, if they say yes, then you can share your experience with them. So if others are like, okay, having a tough day, do not step on them, okay? There's no need to, to, to add some salt into other people's wound. Because one day you may not know when you need their help. If you add salt to other people's wound, one day when you are in a very difficult situation, other people will do the same to you. They will add salt to your own wound. Okay, so this is your your masculine energy, the advice your, for your masculine energy. And no, now let's look at the feminine energy. It is very, very clear. Your feminine energy is deeply influenced by your masculine energy, by the competition, by the competing nature of your masculine energy. You can see here, Three people, three people here trying to do something to the man here, all right? And uh, you feel that in order to get some, someone to like you, in order to get something in your life, you need to compare and compete with other female. And the, the, the advice card here is asking you to let go of this concept and set things free. You need to set, set this concept free. You need to free yourself from this concept. Okay, so uh, you need to heal this part of yourself maybe in the past because of your competing to get one man and you are competing with others, you get yourself in a triangle situation, in a third party situation. And then now the card asks you to cut this kind of energy, to cut yourself away from this kind of energy. If you see that others are in a partnership already, stay out of, of this kind of energy stay out of trouble, all right? So heal this part of yourself. Heal, the, heal this wound of competing, comparing with other people, especially with other female, all right? I, I feel like, okay, other people are not letting you go as well, okay? Other people, once they know that you get their eye on their partner, other people are trying to, like, uh, not setting, setting you free. It feels like, 
even though you know the truth, you are not set. You are not allowing yourself to to set yourself free. You are not allowing yourself to go, and to grow. All right. So, here is the truth. When the truth is given to you, maybe it's a truth, maybe a piece of advice, and then you stop compete. Five of Soul is about competing on the way to achieving something. You hurt a lot of people, or others hurt, others people hurt you. All right. So let down of all the soul. Do not try to compete. Or if you are hurt, you have hurt others already. Heal this part of yourself. If you have hurt others, because you get yourself into the triangle relationship to get the man. You need to heal this wound. Ask others for forgiveness. Okay, it's very easy for you. You just look into the mirror first, and tell yourself. Now you need to talk to this this person. Okay, you 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 stand in front of mirror, and then you imagine that the other person that you have hurt also stand in front of the mirror, looking deep into your eyes. And then you need to create this kind of peaceful feelings within you, and then you start to asking. You imagine them standing in front of you, and then you say something. You ask them for their forgiveness, and this way you can energetically solve this kind of wound within you, and also solve this kind of wound within others energetically. You do not need to apologize. In front of others, of course, if you can do that, it is better to do it in person. All right, if the the other person who has hurt, who has been hurt by you, is willing to see you face to face, you can talk to them to say sorry to apologize. All right, and、uh, if you're not able to do so, just stand in front of the mirror and talk to the other person energetically. And solve this kind of wound. Oh, and also after asking for other people's forgiveness, you need to forgive yourself. And then next step is to look deep into your own self eyes, your own eyes in front of mirror, and then forgive yourself. So practice this at home. All right. So I hope that you can take this advice to to solve this kind of energy. You you think that okay because these、uh, limited resources, limited people in the world, you cannot find a partner. It's it's all the false concept. Where did you get this concept? It is because you are taught to to have this kind of concept, and that's why there's a blockage to your manifestation of everything. Because you think that the world has limited resources. That's why you need to compete. To to fight the, for the resources, and then you 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 compete for for finance, you compete for the job, you you compete for the man, you compete for the women, maybe you compete for a friendship. But then the card asks you that you need to change this kind of concept within you. Okay, I hope that this can help you. And okay, now I need to explain to those of you who are learning about tarot. Okay, I hope that you can, if you have memory, you can look back on the the last pick a card reading that I conduct. Okay, so uh, the cards, these three cards, I pull these three cards. I would like to tell you there's a new interpretation, because I saw a French movie the other day, and then、uh, it is about World War Two, and then. Uh, on the common session, someone commented that okay, you look at the uniform it on this、uh, German soldier, and then they, they, you you interpret it okay why this soldier uh, act uh, behave differently with the other soldier because it belongs to the regular army and then the other army is called SS army, the SS army is very ruthless and things. So someone mentioned that the SS army. In the Nazis, 
they have actually they have the skull on the top of the the hat that they are wearing. Okay, so skull also uh, is very very much a symbol in the uniform for the SS army of the Nazis. So how I interpret this is about the the fanatic the fanatic uh, phenomenon that we need to deal with. All right, so. Uh, what you need to avoid is the fanatic phenomenon. So you, we need to work hard on dealing with the issue of the fanatic element in this world. So uh, because the fanatic always insists that okay, there's only one way, there's only one way to go, only one uh, idea that is correct. So it's a very very fanatic. You know, they insist to it, things goes to the extreme. Only one way to go. Other people's ideas all wrong. Okay, there's a course here. So this death card it means we need to help. We need to think about the ideas to ex accept other people's ideas so that we we can we do not need to go to the extreme so that we avoid going to the extreme. When things go to the extreme, it becomes fanatic. It's very, very dangerous. Just we need to learn from history. We need to learn from, you know, the Nazis history of uh, the SS army. All right. So um, this card here represents a fanatic phenomenon that might happen on this road. OK, so we need to work on that. Okay, to build the ideas, to build up something, like to build, uh, to build up something that to to accept other people's opinions, not to just insist on one idea, one thing. Okay, so uh, this is the card. This is the message that I would like to add. Hopefully, you it shines some light when you are you know when you are learning to read the card you it shines some light to add something into the, the the old interpretation add something new to the old interpretation all right especially just on this on this deck just on this deck okay on other deck it may not be the same because on this deck there's a skull here and the skull symbol is associated with the ss army of the Nazis, all right. So, hopefully, it helped you understand things. Okay. Uh, hope you have a nice weekend. See you in the next video. Bye bye.